Hi everyone, I'm Charlie White and today I'm going to be explaining to you all the key difference between drill drivers and impact drivers. Now, I had a question from one of my subscribers a few months ago asking me what the difference was between a drill driver and an impact driver. Now, to me, the difference is very obvious and I use these two very different tools for different jobs in my day job. But the chances are, if you're an occasional DIYer and you're watching this video, you've probably got one of these, a drill driver, rather than one of these, an impact driver. So I thought in today's video we start with a bit of theory, I'll tell you what the difference is between the two, I'll then do a little bit of a practical to show you how the two work very differently and then I've got a little tip at the end which I think is really important if you're buying either a drill driver or an impact driver that a lot of people overlook. So the cordless drill, which also doubles up as a screwdriver, is by all accounts the most popular power tool of all time. And that really is no accident because particularly if you're just embarking on uh, your DIY journey, you want a one tool that does loads of jobs. You don't want to be buying lots of different tools. So the drill driver is fantastic because obviously you set it to drill, you've got the keyless chuck here, which accepts a whole range of bits from circular drill bits like this, hex shaped drill bits and then brilliantly if you want to turn it into a screwdriver you put your hex shanked screwdriver bit in. And if that wasn't enough you've got your slip clutch on the top that you can adjust so that your screwdriver stops when the screw hits the right depth in the wood or whatever you're screwing into. So that's why these drills that double up as screwdrivers have become such a popular power tool. And for most people, this is probably the only cordless screwdriver you're ever gonna need. It certainly was for me for quite a few years. But as your DIY improves and you're suddenly perhaps finding yourself wanting to drive home a lot of screws, or you're finding that the drill driver just doesn't give you the power you need to drive home those screws, or crucially, you are finding it far too much of a faff to constantly change between the drill bit and the screwdriver bit on this little versatile tool, what do you do? Well, that is where the impact driver comes into its own. This little tool is specifically engineered to do one thing, drive home screws, which it does faster, and easier and more powerfully than any other drill driver would be capable of doing. Now, I just want to point out right now that obviously everything you see in today's video is Ryobi. That's because I've had Ryobi tools for years. They don't ever change the connector on their battery, which means it's fantastic for me because I can just buy loads of different tools in the range and keep using these batteries. But don't let me think I'm trying to advertise Ryobi to you because I'm not. They're certainly not paying me anything to do this video. There are lots of different impact drivers on the market. Some of them coming up on the screen now. So if you're influenced by this video to go and buy yourself an impact driver, do some Googling, do some shopping around and find the impact driver that works best for you. So as you can see, it looks pretty similar to a drill driver, but it has one very important difference. Instead of the keyless chuck you saw just now, it has a collet which only accepts hex shanked driver bits and these screwdriver bits come in various different shapes and sizes. I've got extension bits here which I use a lot in the day job and then you've got an impact driver extension bit here. The impact driver uses bit rotation and concussive blows, that sound you heard at the start of the video, power drive screws home. And I'm going to be showing you later on in this video, this means that you can power screws into the thickest, deepest, hardest wood. The upshot of this is the impact driver gives you raw, unadulterated power. The sort of power that can do this sort of damage. This is my extension bit that basically sheared off recently whilst uh, we were using it with a DeWalt impact driver on site. It's also capable of completely snapping impact driver screw bits like you see here. And finally, this footage was taken on site on Friday where you see the impact driver shearing off a screw head that simply could not be removed from a wooden curtain pole. In fact, typically up to two to three times more turning force or torque than the average drill driver. However, despite this raw power, it's actually more comfortable and easier to use 
than the drill driver. The reason for that is because the concussive action, that brrrr that you hear when it's driving the screw home, is actually transferring all of the force into the screw and away from your hand. Now, the impact driver does not have the slip clutch that you saw on the drill driver, but that doesn't matter because the concussive action actually gives you a huge amount of control and precision when you're driving in screws. Rather than the slip clutch, it becomes all about how much pressure you exert on the trigger. So that's enough of me rambling. Let's crack on and show you these tools in action. And for that, I've picked an old bit of timber that I've had lying around. I actually took it out of the ceiling when I was doing up the dormer window in my daughter's bedroom. This is a lovely old piece of oak. You can just tell by the weight just the quality of this bit of timber. And you don't want to be fooled by the slightly mottled, knackered, shabby looking ex exterior of this lovely bit of timber, as I'm going to show you now. Look at this, this is an absolutely beautiful piece of timber. And as far as I'm concerned, it's going to give us the ultimate test, pitting the drill driver against the impact driver. And to make this test fair, I'm equipping both tools with a fully charged 4AH battery. And for those of you who are wondering, 4AH, the AH stands for ampere hour or amp hour which basically stands for the total amount of charge that a battery can deliver in an hour. Uh, what does that really mean? Well, effectively, a little 1.3 AH battery like this is going to last a lot less time than this monster, this big 5 AH battery, which is one of the most powerful batteries you can get. So, for example, if you're powering a radio on site or you're doing some light drilling work, the 1.3 AH battery is going to be more than enough for your requirements. But if you've got an SDS drill, you're going to want a 4 or 5 AH battery. If you've got a circular saw, as featured in a recent video, you're going to want a 4 or a 5 AH battery. And as I'll be showing you at the end of this video, the battery power is absolutely crucial when you're assessing the performance of a drill driver or an impact driver driving home screws into really hard wood. So first up I'm going to try and drive this 5mm diameter by 100mm screw in using the drill driver. With this drill driver you've got to exert quite a lot of downward pressure to avoid the screw bit flipping around on the top of the screw head. Well, impressively, that went all the way in, but it was quite a lot of effort. Don't know whether you saw that, but there's smoke coming off that screw. It's seriously hot. Well, actually, that didn't work too badly, and I had to put quite a lot of pressure on the drill to get the screw into the bit of oak. But we'll come on to in a minute. I think the power of this battery was largely the reason why that screw was able to drive right through the piece of oak. Let's do exactly the same thing now using the impact driver. You can immediately hear those concussive blows as the driver sets to work on the screw. That's gone straight through the piece of oak and it was just a lot less effort for me than the drill driver where I was having to apply a lot more downward force onto the screw. So that shows you the difference between the drill driver and the impact driver and in fact I have to say I was quite impressed that my drill driver was able to drill right through this solid piece of oak without stopping. But I'm going to show you something really interesting now. The main reason it was able to do that was because I had a 4AH battery on the drill. Look what happens when I substitute the 4AH batteries
for these 1.3 AH batteries. I'm going to start with the drill driver. Okay, here goes. It's stopped. This is a fully charged battery. I've only just taken it off charge. It's trying, but it's now completely stopped. I'm going to do exactly the same test now with my impact driver, again using the same power battery. Again, the concussive blow start. First thing you notice is it's tackling the task a lot more ably. It's going quite slow. But even my impact driver is struggling with this screw. Still going round, but very, very slowly. But if I swap that battery back to my big old 4AH, you can instantly see the difference. So I really hope you found today's video useful and I hope it's helped you to make up your mind if you were thinking of buying an impact driver or you just didn't know what one was. Impact drivers are making inroads into the drill driver market and I've heard recently that they're introducing attachments for the collets so that you can actually use them to drill as well as fire in screws. But right now it's just a really good, really awesomely powerful, dedicated screwdriver tool. But remember my point about the batteries. To get the most out of your impact drive, you've got to have a powerful battery. Mind you, it's worth still having a really light battery in your toolbox for those more sort of everyday jobs where you don't want to be lugging around all the extra weight that you get with the 4 or 5 AH battery. Like everything, it's just you've got to find the right tool for the job you're doing. This tiny little 1.3 AH 12 volt Ryobi drill driver is a super little light tool and one of the fitters that works for me actually prefers using this um, most of the time for the sort of lighter weight jobs where he's not drilling into walls and he's just attaching screws into MDF that sort of thing. So thanks for watching today's video if you enjoyed it please click on the like button below and if you're new to my channel I'd love to have you subscribe you can do that by clicking on the link here. See you soon.